So every year, there's always a big conversation following the Grammys, as people have had lots of feelings towards the Academy and their decisions. And this year, a lot of noise has come from the Album of the Year award that went to Harry Styles. Now I love Harry and I loved Harry's house. I also loved all the other albums in the category as well. It was another tough year, but there's been a lot that's been said following his win. And some felt like with the way they were hyping up Beyonce all night, she was played by the Academy and should never attend another after this loss. People were sending mass hate towards Harry almost seconds after his big win. As he was giving his speech, people in the room were screaming about Beyonce's loss. And I think that's just so uncalled for. Like you can be sad that the person that you were rooting for lost, but to ruin someone else's moment is certainly unnecessary, especially if you're in the room with them. I've been so, so inspired by every artist that has ever been me. A lot of different times in my life, I've listened to everyone in this category and I'm alone. And People have been attacking Harry, his performance, and his speech, just ripping him to shreds and there's been people, of course, defending him, saying that this energy should just be directed at the Academy. If people are so upset because Harry only won the award and the Academy was the one to ultimately choose the winner, not him. And I want to go into some of the details that I've learned in the last couple of days that I'd like to add here about some of the things that people have opinions over like some feelings they have on Harry's performance saying that it wasn't what it usually is and something just fell off about it and it was boring and all that stuff. And it actually seemed to be the case where this stage setup didn't go the way that it was supposed to. And multiple people that were a part of the performance have come out to share what happened and what kind of caused them to go into a little bit of a panic mode and have to improvise in real time the performance. Our performance with Harry Styles at the Grammys yesterday. Um, Yohan Bourgeois and his associate Karem made this beautiful, beautiful piece on a moving turntable. So there were 12 of us, we were all on the turntable, and we rehearsed for 10 days getting down these beautiful formations and sliding off the turntable in a roll off. And this whole time we were practicing with the turntable counterclockwise, and we did it loads of times and got it down to the point where at dress rehearsal yesterday it was spotless and beautiful when we were ready. And it was different than anything most of us had ever done before. It was frustrating and it was difficult in making those patterns while something's moving and having all this spatial awareness and working together with people you've never met before. Like, it was a wild challenge. So we get on stage for the performance. The performance starts and the turntable starts going the wrong way. And so we try to get the attention of the technician, the turntable technician, and we're like, hey, it's going the wrong way under our breath because we're on live TV, can't like yell. And he didn't realize that's what we were saying. So to switch all of those patterns around on the spot, having not even walked in that direction, like it sounds easy to be able to walk. It's like a treadmill, but I swear to God, like since it's circular, it pulls you in different directions and it's such a special type of balance. So we got accustomed to one way and it was the opposite way. Opened and it was time to perform. Our turntable started spinning in reverse, backward freaking all of us out on live television and there was nothing we could do to stop it so after a week of rehearsing this piece perfectly going this way the moment it's time to perform it starts going this way and in real time we have to troubleshoot and try to do a complete piece in reverse so that definitely plays into how the performance was seen on TV and for people that were like, ah, that was something like a little off. There was something a little off. Things went very wrong, but major props to them for working it out and doing the best that they could in that situation. Now, the other thing that people had an issue with was Harry's speech. When he won for album of the year, he thanked the Academy and he said, that this doesn't really happen to people like him. And a lot of people were looking at him sideways and posting it all over TikTok talking about this, saying he's a white male, what is he talking about? Things like this don't happen to people like him. Like it was just confusing to people. And well, this is actually something that Harry has said before at his shows, cause there were a couple of people thinking maybe he was just really nervous and he didn't say the exact like right words, but he had been quoted saying this before. Things like this aren't supposed to happen to people like me. 
I know more than anyone else that I don't get to do it if you guys don't come. I'm so grateful whether you've been supporting me for one year. Things like this don't happen to people like me very often and things like this don't happen to people like me very often at all and I just want to thank you all. This does not happen to people like me. Thank you. Whether you've supported me for one year, two years, five years, twelve years, whatever it is, you have changed my life over and over and over again. I thank you. I am yours. I will never stop attempting to repay you even the tiniest bit. I hope you had a good time tonight. Please get me safe. And a lot of his fans were coming to his defense saying that he probably is talking about the fact that he grew up in a small working class town and this is his life now and this is just like a really rare and special opportunity. And some people were also thinking that maybe he was also talking about him having come from the X Factor. So there was a lot of things that were being said to defend him there. Now, this isn't the first time that we've seen this kind of outrage over the big winners of the night at the Grammys, and the Academy has been criticized in the past for favoriting white artists, especially in big categories that are announced later on in the show. And we've seen time and time again artists win and say on stage that they felt another artist in the room should have won. It almost feels like as much of an honor as these awards are. It also comes with so much hate from people expressing their opinions on who should have won instead. It's almost like scary to win these titles because there's so many people that are going to have conversation about it. In 2020, Billie Eilish had won a number of Grammys and could be seen repeating, please don't be me, as she was winning album of the year. Like these artists are happy yet scared to win these awards. And in 2017, Adele got on stage after her win for album of the year and she said that Beyonce's Lemonade should have won. And then in 2021, Billie Eilish admitted to being embarrassed after her win for record of the year for a second year in a row and dedicated her speech to Meg Thee Stallion, who she felt should have won for her song, Savage. Her brother Phineas also talked about this shocking reaction that they had to winning their award, and he tweeted out, when you're happily waiting to hear Savage. Now, the same year that Billy won and said that Meg should have won, people were upset that Beyonce was getting all of his hype at the Grammys only to end up not winning record of the year or album of the year. And an NPR reporter said, no disrespect to Billie Eilish, whose music I love and who handled that graciously, but this is the most Grammys move ever to pat themselves on the back for how often they've honored Beyonce and then again, pass her over for the big prizes, absolutely insane. And it is crazy to think that that tweet was two years ago and that's exactly the same situation this year where Beyonce was hyped up constantly. Like everyone was praising her presence in the room, making it known that she made Grammys history by being the person to hold the most Grammy wins. People felt like this had to be her night and she took home four Grammys already. So people were ready for her to win record or album of the year. And when it didn't go that way, people started talking. I was hearing a lot of people also say that they felt Bad Bunny should have won, but that's the thing with these award shows is there's always an opinion. There's always things being said after and we're seeing it happen once again. I will say all the nominees were smiling hearing Harry give his speech and none of them have vocalized any feelings of being upset at his win, which has been another conversation that people have had. If the other nominees aren't mad, then people just like shouldn't be bringing Harry down. Harry also isn't the only one who won who has been receiving some heat following this year's show as the song of the year category was also something that people were shocked by. It was won by Bonnie Raitt. This award honors songwriting, and if you go and listen to it, I really think it is so touching. But tons of people were looking at it like, what do you mean song of the year? Was this on the charts? And simply not knowing who Bonnie was, which people online did find rude. Those that knew Bonnie and know that she is a music legend, they just found all these comments unnecessary and she's been in the game for so long. They felt like she did deserve this. And for her to have beat out so many people is just crazy. And some were feeling like this was proof that the Academy doesn't base votes on mainstream popularity. It's clearly been a whole debate and a lot of eyes are on the Academy, that is for sure. But that's what's been said about the award show from this past weekend. I certainly wanna know if you guys tuned in and watched and what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.